it is snowing in Houston. So that means while most of the rest of the country are having to go to work and go about their normal days, we shut down. So it's been an automatic snow day, no questions asked. And so I'm staying inside, enjoying myself, making purple tea, sewing, and making this video. So if you're new to my channel, welcome to I'm Busy Sewing with Genty Designs, where I share tips and lessons for my creative journey as a seamstress and designer. Today, I'm sharing four tips to know when sewing silky, slippery fabrics. Before we get into the tips, it's good to know the properties of silky fabrics. So this is not a silky fabric. And as you can see, I just made a crease and the crease holds just like that, you see? So it's really stable. This is a silky fabric. And as you can see, when I, when I fold it, it falls back very easily. It's wrinkle resistant. And so it can be difficult to sew because when you try to manipulate it, it doesn't hold, hold creases or um, it's just not very stable. Tip number one is use your iron. Your iron is your friend. It's gonna help control and tame that unstable slipperiness and make creases where the fabric didn't want to crease before. So use it on hems and like here, I'm making some piping and that's gonna make a big difference when you actually go to sew. Tip two is use your pins. Not dull ones, but really sharp pins because as you can see, I'm trying to put this pin in, but it's not wanting to go in and can actually tear your fabric when it's delicate like this. So you wanna use nice sharp pins and they're gonna help you to tame that unruly, slippery fabric and hold everything together. When you sew, it's also helpful to remove the pins as you're going because as the foot climbs over that pin, it can make irregularities and the fabric and everything is not gonna be as smooth because it has to go over that extra weight, that extra room from the pin. So if you remove the pin right before your needle goes over the spot, it's still gonna be held and you're just gonna get a nice, cleaner, smoother finish. Tip number three is to use the correct needle. There are gonna be different kinds of needles for different types of fabrics and the best for shiny, silky fabric is gonna be universal or sharp needles as opposed to, as you see, jeans needles, jersey needles. And you're gonna to wanna to use, for thinner fabric, you're gonna use a smaller needle. For thicker fabric, you want bigger needles. Here I'm changing the sewing machine needle from a 9014 to a 7511. And that 14 is a larger needle size. The 11 is one size smaller. The fourth and final tip is to check your machine threading. I'm excited because I do not like editing. Anyway, so all these different tensions are going to affect how your threading comes out and that's especially important on silky slippery fabrics because they're so unstable. So any little thing that's off is gonna show. So for instance here, 
if this thread slips off the hook, that is gonna affect the final product. So you wanna make sure all the threading through the machine is correct. It's always good to do test stitching on extra fabric before you start an actual project. This is a whole pile just from trying to figure out one issue. The tensions were off and I didn't know why. And so I did finally figure it out. It was the way the machine was threaded. There was a thread that had come undone from one of the spots it was supposed to be in. Another thing that could happen, as you can see, this bottom row is puckered, but the top row is actually nice and even. That is also from tension and incorrect tension of the needle thread being too tight. When it's too tight, it'll gather material like this, but when it's just right, it'll be nice and smooth. And there you have it, four tips to know and use when sewing silky, slippery fabrics. They can be difficult to work with, but if you're patient and don't take shortcuts, then you can make things like this, this yellow lounge set that I am modeling. Yeah, thank you so much. And stay warm, stay safe, and enjoy your day. Till next time. Bye.